Here's another project that I'm working on. This is an old snowplow from a truck probably in the 70s. Anyway, we had it laying around and when we got the compact tractor here, the Coyote, we uh, got the third function on the front. And uh, I know you can plow snow with the bucket, but I thought since this thing was laying around, I'd try to piece it back together. So, so far I got two springs back on, we got the pins back in place, and we got this back on. I mean, nothing's uh, set in stone yet. And then I just uh, ordered a adapter plate. This is a Titan 3 8 inch steel skid loader or compact tractor adapter plate. Uh, so I'm going to pop the bucket off first to make sure that that thing actually does fit the tractor. I think it should. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. Um, and then, uh, you know, what we're going to do over time here is going to weld a couple brackets onto the adapter plate. That'll be the first step and then the next step will be uh, figuring out the hydraulics for the or the angle. Hopefully we'll have a snowplow here by winter. Well so far so good. The plate does fit on there. It's kind of heavy. It's a 3 8 inch piece of steel so I mean it weighs 125 pounds. So once it has something attached to it we can just let it sit there and I won't have to be carrying it, but until I get uh, the brackets welded on, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt for me to move around because I'll have to be doing it by hand for the most part. Right, Cosmo? Good boy. But anyway, that kind of gives you the start of what I'm working at here. <laughs> going to take this piece, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it down here, and shorten it, um, just because even though it's only about 18 inches or so, it's going to make a lot less stress on the plate and tractor if that's a little bit shorter, so I'm going to shorten that up, so that's what I'm going to work on now.
far so good. Everything seems to be hooked up fine. And the next step's gonna be doing something I've never done, which is hook up hydraulics. We got a third function on this tractor right here. So I'm going to plumb hydraulics onto this thing. So I will plumb it for the angle. So whenever you're on the tractor, you can just angle it. In part two, we will work on the hydraulics.